Yo! What's up everyone? Byte, we're back with you again with another digital design interview question. Like it's tradition, before we get started, the team would like to extend our most sincere gratitude to our current patrons. We are extremely grateful for your support. If you would like to become a patron and support the team while also getting access to additional written questions, you can do so with the following link. You can also find the link in the description below. New content every week. We'll be sure to toast a couple of beers in the name of our patrons this holiday season. Let's jump into the content right away. The following question will test your knowledge about the basics of digital design, mainly how to implement logic functions with the least amount of hardware as possible. As you know, silicon real estate is expensive, so digital designers are always after achieving maximum performance with the minimum amount of area and power. The interviewer can break the question into two parts, with the first one being the following. Can you write the truth table for an X or gate? This is rather straightforward, so we don't need to ask any additional questions. We simply draw the gate, write our inputs A and B, and fill the truth table. An exclusive OR function is of course a function that will output a logic 1 when only one of the inputs is logic high. If both of them are 1, the output will be 0. Simple enough so far, right? After this, the interviewer will say the following. Imagine I am restricted to using only NAND gates at the moment. Can you implement the same function with NAND gates alone? This is where things get interesting. So, I am going to give you 10 seconds for you to pause the video and try to answer the question on your own. Alright, there is, of course, more than one way to implement the function with NAND gates. However, there is only one way that reduces the number of gates used to the minimum. It is important to ask the question to the interviewer so they know you are very conscious about power and area. You could ask the following question to the interviewer. Are you looking for the minimum number of gates or is it okay if the solution is suboptimal? A good interviewer will likely say, let's first try to implement the function however you can and we will try to optimize it after we have something working. However, we will assume the interviewer said, let's make the function use the minimum number of gates. We will execute towards that. Let me pause here because I can already see the future comments to this video saying things like, how can you tell these are the minimum number of gates or you're just assuming something without a proof. Remember these videos assume you are already preparing for a job interview. Hence, you know all the basic and advanced topics and also know their proofs. We are not here to be your professor. We are here to show you interview questions. Okay, rant over. Let's start the solution by looking at the truth table. Remember, it is okay to work through a problem. So, let's tell the interviewer we would like to get more insight from the original truth table by inverting some of the input signals. Let's rewrite that truth table here. We already know the output, so let's just write it down. We can focus on the situations when the outputs are logic 1. It is clear that the function a, x, or b is equal to a0, b, or a, b0. Let's work our way through this equation. It would seem as if we were stuck here. However, we can manipulate this equation by using a little trick, a double inversion. The end result doesn't change if we invert the function twice. Let's now isolate this term and forget for a moment about the last inversion. The most important Boolean identity and the one you should always remember is De Morgan's law, which states A plus B all of that bar is equal to a bar b bar. This term right here fits the criteria to apply that equivalency. 
So we can rewrite the equation as a bar b, all of that bar, and a b bar, all of that bar. We can't forget about the extra bar that we initially had. Now, these individual terms can also be manipulated by the same De Morgan's law. In this case, the identity says that AB bar is equal to A bar or B bar. So we get A bar bar or B bar and A bar B bar bar. All of that bar. There is not much more manipulation that we can do here, so let's label these terms as C and D. We have that A X or B is equal to C and D bar. Let's now draw some gates. If we pass A and B through a NAND gate, we will have AB bar, which can be expanded into A bar or B bar. We are after the term A or B bar. We need to somehow invert the A bar term and keep B bar intact. If we work backwards from A or B bar, we can compress that term again by using De Morgan's law into A bar B, all of that term bar. We have A bar or B bar and can only use NAND gates. So let's input that term into a NAND gate. We are now left thinking what should the second input to that NAND gate is. At the output, we will have A bar or B bar and an unknown term, all of that bar. The output should basically be equivalent to A bar B, all of that bar. It's clear that the second input to the NAND should be B. That way we have A bar or B bar and B, all of that bar. If we do the multiplication here, we have A bar B or B B bar, all of that term bar. B and B bar will cancel itself so that term disappears. And we are left with our desired term A bar B, all of that bar. This is equal to A or B bar, otherwise known as our C term. We can do something similar for the second term. This time I will just write it, but make sure you understand it. Finally, since we have our terms C and D, and the expression we are after is C and D, all of that bar, we can pass those two terms through another NAND gate. It is rather apparent that these two NAND gates are performing the same operation, so we only need to use one and we can split its output. Hence, the number of NAND gates needed is four and it will look like this. The XOR function with NAND gates is equivalent to this. And there you have it. Another great digital question that will test even experienced designers. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content today and to become a patron to support the channel. Also, make sure to enable the little bell icon to be notified of the raffles for mock interviews that we will be conducting early next year. See you next time. Cheers.